August 1st. This is Scott Fortuna, and I'm here at uh, my local quilt shop, which is Gotham Quilts, which is across the street from my office on 37th Street, uh, between 5th and 6th Avenue. If you are ever in the neighborhood, please stop by and also tell them to give me a call, or um, you could private message me. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Um, and I will be glad to come down and say hello if I'm not too busy. Uh, hi, Jennifer, how are you? Uh, long day, long bunch of days. Uh, got back today. I was away in um, in Charlotte at the Free Spirit offices the last couple days, and then I spoke at a uh, We're So Creative in um, Concord, and that was a nice evening with about 50 uh, consumers, and we had fun night. And uh, today I'm back, and I had to call up to all of my retailers today. I hope you guys could hear me okay. The AC's on. It's still super hot in here. Um, but today I'm going to do what I always do, which is in the, the first week of the month, I'm going to show you the lines that Studio E, Blank Quilting, and Henry Glass shipped to quilt shops in the previous month. So today uh, I'm going to tell you what we have. And one other thing, so we ha I have a little group of retailers with about 500 retail customers, and um, the today I told them which lines I'm going to be going over. So basically what I'm trying to do here is bridge the gap between you, the consumer, and my quilt shop owner, customers, and online retailers, and, and things like that. So what I did is I gave them a list of all the lines that I'm gonna go over, and I'm hoping some of them are actually gonna be on this, call, on this video. And what I told them to do is say, when I name a line and I start discussing it, they should go on and say, hey, uh, this is uh, you know Scott from Scott's Quilt Shop in New York, and I have that whole line, this is my website, call me, whatever. I'm trying to bridge the gap. I know a lot of times on these videos, you guys say you love the lines and all that, but you know, listen, every shop can't order every line. It's just not feasible, it's not practical, and it's not realistic. They have to order what makes sense for them and their customers. So um, I see a lot of comments coming up. I can't, I, you know what, I'm so ADD, I can't look at the comments. I, then I totally lose my train of thought. So um, hi to everyone. Um, it, it is hot here in New York. It's good seeing you guys too. Uh, thank you for being here. Anyone who's new, I welcome you. I know um, the following is growing. And I just wanted to remind you before I do this video, for the month of August, my Facebook page is not going to be filled with my posts. My Facebook page is going to be filled with shop tour videos. And again, this is my contest to retailers, challenging them to give us a tour of their shop, as I've done at other quilt shops for a long time and other shop owners have done. This is a way for them to expose their business to you and to their customers and also to get them comfortable with doing video. Video is a critical piece of the puzzle for business nowadays. If you're not doing it, you know, you're going to be left for dead. So I am encouraging them uh, because listen, if my, if my customers aren't successful, I'm not successful. So that is why I'm here. That is why I continue to do what I do. I'm freaking annoying and driving everyone crazy about the videos, but I'm hoping that um, we get at least double what we did last year. I said 200. We did 170. We did 75 last year. I'm hoping we get 200 videos. I encourage all of you who are watching this video to watch all these videos. Check out these other shops that are out there. Yes, there are tons of other shops. In fact, there are thousands of other shops in the United States and in the world. And I made this worldwide. So you will see shops everywhere. If you see something you like, call the shop, say, hey, what's up? This is Scott. Uh, I'm living in Montana. I want that kit. I freaking love it. Can you send it to me? Let's make it happen. Let's make a deal. Let's do it. I've encouraged the shops to show things that they have for sale. This is a great way for them to sell things. Give a special deal, show a quilt, show a kit, make it happen. Show that video does work and you can make that happen. So these are the lines that I'm going to go over today. Uh, I'm going to go actually in order um, because these are the or this is the order that I presented it on to the retailers so they could follow along. So Henry Glass, we have Dino Mates by Nidwi Wawa, Start Your Engines by Bob Giordano, Winter Cottage by Marcelo Cordy, Winter Whimsy 2 by Shelley Kamiski, a flannel line. Then from Studio E, we have Be a Keeper by DTK Signature. Fairyland by Studio E, Woodland Wonders by Elizabeth Isles, Chroma View by Blank Quilting, it's a digital line, Doggone Fun by Annie Trow, Morning Mist uh, by Blank Quilting. So today worked out really great for me, I'm excited because the layout in the room worked out very well, sorry for the close up there. And uh, it's gonna be really kind of a smooth sale for me. So uh, why don't we get right to it and uh, Sit back, relax, get a drink, get some coffee, put your feet up, whatever it is you're gonna do, and uh, enjoy the fabric lines 
that my company, Jaff Text Corporation, shipped to shops in the previous month for Henry Glass, Studio E, and Blank Quilting. I want you to all to know just one thing before we start. All of these companies are separate. They're all under the real Jaff Text umbrella, and as you know, Jaff Text stands for Jacob A. Fortunoff Textiles. That's my great grandfather, and he started the business 90 years ago. I'm the fourth generation owner of my family business. And um, all the companies are separate. And also, one other thing that I, you guys might not know, all of the companies that we have are purchase companies. None of the companies have we started on our own. The comments stopped, so I don't know. Is everybody here still? Uh, somebody say something, send me a heart. I just want to make sure we're live, because that would suck if I was going through this and we are not live. So a heart, something. I hope it's OK, but it looks like it's going. All right, so there you go. I got a thumbs up. All right, so let's turn it around and let's get right into the party. Here we go. Thank you for all the hearts. Awesome. Still here. Great. All right. So this is it. Look look how nice and smooth it is. We're just going to take you and I got all the panels up for you guys. It's awesome. I, I even I had to use the floor today. I was running out of time. You know, I'm so jammed today. I was out for the last two days. And whenever I'm away, it really takes a lot to regroup. And today I was smart. I get, went away for three days and then I, I scheduled myself for two videos. Way to go, Scott. Nice planning, dude. All right, so here we go. Check this out. I mean, come on. Do you love this? What little boy would not love this on a little blanket? It's a 36 inch panel. It's great. You just have to throw something up on the back and it's awesome. So this is called Dino Mates and this is by Nidwi Wawa. I hope that I said that right. This is what I'm gonna show you with each line is the free project that we have with each collection. This is what we put on the sales card. Why don't we do that quickly? So this is a sales card and our reps go out with these sales cards. They're actually not fabric. They're just designs on paper. And this is what the card looks like. It's a bunch of pages. Each pattern has a pattern number, which is right here on the front of the card. Henry Glass isn't the best example for me because I'm more used to selling Studio E in blank. But Henry Glass puts the seven. That's the month for delivery. So as you know, that's July because I'm showing you the ones that we sh shipped to shops last month. So this is what the card looks like. So our reps go into the shops and they sh pull out these cards and they lay them out on the table. Everything has a pattern and color. It has a little bit of a description in some cases, like here's the panel. See, it says 36 by 44, so 36 inches a yard, 44 inches is the width of the fabric. Um, and then it says reduce, so you can see this isn't the actual size. This is the actual size, so so much better, but you get the drift. Then on a lot of the cards, we include basics. This is a good way for our rep to get an added sale and to suggest a basic that goes with the line so that the shop could say, hey, you know, I could use a basic to go with that line. I think these work perfectly. So that's the whole card that we show. Now I'm going to show you the back. So the other thing that I like to do, and this is, goes hand in hand with me speaking at quilt shops and things like that, I want to teach people. It's all about learning and understanding, and I know you guys are hungry to learn. I know you guys love seeing the equipment, seeing the workers, whether they're folding the fabric or double enrolling it or printing it, and I am going to bring that to you all day, all the time. I go out of my way to go to warehouses and all kinds of places where I could show you machinery that you're like, wow, I didn't know how they did that, or I didn't know they roll fat quarters by hand, or whatever it is. But so here, so on the back of the card, we usually show the stripe, and the reason why we show this is because we want the owner to know how many rows there are going to be in the stripe, because that's important for you all when you're making products. In addition, so this is a uh, close-up, or actually the actual scale of one of the designs, the panel. So you could see how big it's going to be, but you know this is going to be that. So this is what we put on the back. The back really is kind of, we fill it up as we see fit, depending on how many pages we need to use on the front. And then we have a bio for the designer and then our address and some warnings and things like that. And then down here for the sales rep, we put the previous lines by the same designer. So when the sales rep goes to the quilt shop and the owner says, oh, that looks really familiar. And then the rep says, oh yeah, that's the same designer who did Busy Bees, Frogland Friends, Wish Upon a Star, etc., etc." So now you guys know, um, don't think you're gonna take my job because I give you all the info, but uh, there you have it. So there's some good info for you. All right, so let me show you the line, Dino Mates. So here you go, we have this stripe. You just saw the whole card, so you know what I'm gonna show you. We have all overs. Oh, and I wanna show you one thing. Today is a good selvage day. For those of you that don't know, this is the selvage, and you see all these different colors. 
In Korea, we could print, I've said this a million times, but I know I got new fans because I've been traveling a lot. We could print 18 different colors in Korea. So if you look at those little dinosaurs, there should only be 18 max. And each one represents a certain location on the fabric. So when our designers are speaking directly with the mills and critiquing how the designs are coming out, they say, hey, the orange screen number eight doesn't, you know, isn't in the right spot. Or that's how they identify it. That's the language they use. So these are cool, really cool. How cute. How freaking cute. Oh, we got a string. So that is a good selvage for us. And then we have a lot of basics in this line. We got the bones. Oh, I gotta breathe. I got brought no drink with me. I really could use an iced tea right now. Could one of you guys bring me an iced tea? That would be so cool. That would be awesome. Really thirsty. But here, so we have them in the circles, and then we have them playing. I mean, look at this guy. Check him out. So I was encouraging, I had a call on my retailer page this morning, and I was encouraging my retailers, instead of just going like this and panning out through the whole thing, you guys have all seen fabric on the shelf, but you want some close-ups. You want to see right in there. You want to be right in there. And I know I'm, a lot of us watch them on our phone, so it's even smaller. So we got to get in there and show the details. It's all about the details. So all right, so that's the first line. That one is uh, Dino Mates by Nidwi, Nidwi Wawa. And this one is Start Your Engines. And this one, sorry, is by Robert Giordano. And this is the quilt project. Nice, it uses the panel. And so this is the panel. I think it looks like it's a 36 inch panel. They look about the same size, but that's a panel. Another good boy line for all you guys looking, you know, all your boys looking for race cars. But listen, nowadays boys and girls are doing all the same stuff. So could be for a girl, probably more so geared to buy. Boy, boy, boy. All right, anyway, so here we go. Here's the stripe and look how nice, look how detailed it is. It's, it's really great. That could be you in the stands or you and your son watching the cars. Start your engines, and then we have a word print. You guys like word prints? Yay or nay? I always fight with my people in the office. I think a word print is a reason not to buy a line. Because if the words aren't what you want, maybe you don't want it. But so here we got the black and white checkered flag. We got the wheels. Somehow I ended up with a, bolt, a bunch of that. And then we have the cars on the black. And then we have more of an all over, more words, all your fun car words and then all your gears and miles per hour and all that stuff. And then finally we have the red flag. Betsy, you're so funny. Of all these things I show you, you say nice check. I mean, come on, that's so funny. You, how about this beautiful panel? It's rocking. All right, you love the word prints too. All right, so let's keep going here. We're doing good. Uh, this is Winter Cottage. This one is by Marcelo Corte. This is very elegant. It looks, it reminds me of Europe. It's really nice. And uh, with a name like that, it probably is European. So this is the free project. Don't forget, the, all the free projects are www.whateverthecompanyis.com and then go to the free projects page. And this, it's henryglassfabrics.net. Um, these, uh, Lisa Marie, I see you're asking, are these just in the USA? We sell worldwide through distributors. Uh, listen, let's be realistic. We're selling the most in the US. It's less so around the world, but out there nonetheless. So um, that's kind of the answer to that. All right, so here's the panel. Notice this panel, sorry, it's kind of mushing with the other panel, but this is a 24 inch panel. Our panels are 36 inches, which is a yard, or 24, which is two thirds of a yard. And, um, and then once in a while, Karen messes me up and she does a 30 inch panel, which drives me freaking nuts, because I usually think they're 30, uh, 24 or 36 inches. So here's the little block print. I tried to get the, the bigger prints up on the wall. And this is really nice. I mean, listen, I'm not thinking of summer, but this definitely makes me think of summer. I'm actually, uh, sorry, winter. I'm not thinking of winter, I'm thinking of summer. But if I was thinking of summer, these would not be any bad thoughts. So really beautiful birds. Look at that, it's really, it's like a painting. So these are the blocks. I'm not sure what the block size are off the top of my head. I'd have to look in the card. But that's something that we put in the card, the exact block size. And if you go to your local shop, you could, um, you could definitely um, find out how big the blocks are. They could tell you. So here's your all over. These are all the homes. And then we have a lot of basics, really nice trees. These are always great coordinates. And then you have your pine cones, and then little snowflake sky, another snowflake sky, and the other blue. 
and then we have some pine cones. Let's see the selvage on this one. So here we have the selvage, not bad, like in the, like in the uh, trees. Oh, I missed one, sorry. Let me go back to this one, because this one is cool. I think there's a toss up between the dinosaur and the cars. So this was start your engines, really kind of a neat selvage, a lot of fun. And listen, you should definitely, when you buy the fabric, if you get the selvage where it has all the cool designs, use it. Definitely fun or collect them and make a big quilt with all selvages. All right, so that is Winter Cottage so far. So we're doing good on the Henry Glass. We got those three. And now we're on the last one for Henry Glass. So Henry Glass, this one is Winter Whimsy 2, and this is by Shelley Kamiski. And this is a super popular line, and Shelley is a great, a great, great artist. Um, she's an illustrator, I am always told that we have to use that word. Let's see, so her selvage is kind of snowflakes, not bad. I've seen better, I've seen worse. All right, so let's see. So this is the, the stripe, and I'm gonna get you in close so you could get up there. I mean, gnomes are the, the bomb these days. Everyone's gnoming around, and there are a lot of gnomes, and people love their gnomes. So it's a, it's a hot trend, so definitely get in there with some gnomes. This, unfortunately, the panel was not here when I unpacked my samples when I ran across the street. You guys should see me when I come and do these videos. I schlep across the street with these big boxes. I'm all sweaty, like it's ridiculous. But I will do that for you guys because you guys are awesome. All right, so here's the little gnome. He's gnoming around and then a little gnome. But again, this is flannel. And what I wanted to tell you about the flannels, first off, it feels so nice and yummy. That is for starters. But this is the two ply flannel. This is what we sell to quilt shops. We do not sell the A Nathan type flannel, which is a single ply flannel, which is half of the construction. So in other words, there's more threads in the two ply flannel and it's what I call, it, it's beefier. But it's really got a nice hand. It's so soft and um, it's just great. If you're into flannel and you're in a cold place or in a hot place and you have a cold place, this is it. All right, see, I love it. Arizona Quilt stepping up and telling us that they have these lines. You guys hear that? In Arizona, they got the flannel or whatever. Some of these collections, I don't know which one they're referring to specifically, but if you want it, there's your chance. Nice, good job, Arizona Quilts. Love it. All right, so that's it for Henry Glass. There you have it. Yes, it would definitely make great PJs. So the other night when I was speaking, someone, or um, after I spoke, uh, the Nancy who runs Free Spirit sent out a questionnaire and said, people, do you have a question? And they asked me, what's my earliest memory? And back in the day, early before I was in the business, we used to be into lingerie and sleepwear. And um, I remember going down into my dad's room and he had the best pajamas and I had the best pajamas too. And I remember him sitting on the bed going through his inventory. And ironically now I do the same thing, but I don't have pajamas anymore that are great, kind of just an underwear type of guy. But anyway, too much information. All right, let's stop. Uh, blank quilting. So this is a pigment white line. Okay, so you guys know what pigment white is. It's white on white. It's kind of this paste that they lay on top of the fabric. And it's almost raised a little bit, but it's very popular. We do it um, as a basic item. These we produce in Pakistan because we want to sell them to you at a little bit of a lower price because this is like your bread and butter. This is like you, you need it for everything. So let me get up close. So we show it on the color card by using gray, but it is white with white. So I'm gonna show you the fabric in a minute. Okay. Yes, so love pigment whites, I see that, yes. All right, so look, we're gonna get in there, you're gonna get a better, oh, it actually looks better than I thought. So you could see the designs, they're pretty simple, but these are great. You know, listen, you always have to have a little bit of, I mean, I'm not telling you, you guys know this stuff, but you gotta have a little rest on your quilts. Some of these you can see better than others. That's like a little bird. Um, but this white on white is great for that. And there's a dot, there's like a shadow. I'm sorry, this, this is not great. Um, and I'll show you the card again so you can get an idea. So there's the birds, little floral. Can't tell triangles those look like. Oh, uh, dragonflies, those are hugely popular. Yeah, these are great for backings and blender. In fact, uh, Studio E has a 108 line with just white on white, so we do do a lot of that. So here you go. Some of them you can't see. I almost some of them almost just like look like white fabric. That one you can't see. My my, the, where the light is falling. Here's the dragonfly. 
Can you see that? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yes, it is very practical um, and it's just very useful. And you know, listen, you could go to every shop and they have tons of this. All the suppliers are doing this. So there's that. I'm not going to do it because it looks like we're looking at invisible fabric. So this is Don, Dog Gone Fun. Oh, great. Dog Gone Fun. This is by Annie Trow. Annie, are you here with us? That would be awesome. I see that you're on my page sometimes, and I love that, and I love when you guys interact, but that would be cool if you were. And if you're not, still cool. Still love you anyway. But check out this panel, guys. This is a 24-incher, as you can tell. You could, you could get the feel of the, uh, the difference between a yard and two-thirds of a yard. But really, for you dog people, I mean, this is awesome. Check out these guys. Are they cute or what? Yes, Arizona Quilts is working it. Arizona Quilts, if you make some sales, let me know. I love to hear that sort of stuff. It's great, great info. Great info. Once in a while, people listen to me. I'm trying to make you guys money. All right, look at this. Black and white dogs, so cute. Just an all over with all the characters hanging out, the slippers, the dog, you know, all, all the cliche things. We got the bones, and then the bones have all, oh, they don't have names, they just say tree. And then this is a white on white paw. So this is pigment white. Let's see, I can't get the angle. Oh, there you go, here. Now you can see it from that angle. And then we have the black and white one. And then we did the, you can, you, this is one's hard to tell. These are fire hydrants, and this is pigment white too. Trying to get an angle that works for you. Let's see. Nope. Uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. All right. Well, so anyway, then we have the pack dogs, and then we have the dogs in the block, and then all right here we have a free project. If you're tired from working and you don't have the brain capacity to come up with a project, we have one for you www.blankquilting.net and it's free projects it's in the free project section please use these they're there for a reason you could even use our projects for other fabrics it doesn't really matter but they're there for you to use so um that's that line oh forgot one thing i had to use the floor today got to get creative got to make it happen so we did we do have a stripe and i'm going to give you a little rundown on the stripe if you see in the background you get a better idea of what those white on white um fire hydrants look like All right, so there you have it, and then let's do a selvage. I mean, listen, every one of the lines had a decent selvage today. These are paws, not bad, take them. I'll take what I could get, and they're not just numbers. All right, so moving along in blank, we did the white on whites, so and now we, we have dog gone fun, and now we have a digital line. This one is called Chrome of You, and for all of you guys that know about the digital, um, listen, in my opinion, I don't think digital is taking over the world. We will continue to do it. I know some companies are going to digital completely. I think it helps them manage their inventory better, which is a good thing. Uh, no one likes to have to deal with closeouts. It's really negative energy. But for us, it's part of the business, and we are not going all digital, unlike some other companies. I believe Michael Miller, maybe Quilting Treasures, or a lot more digital than other companies. <sighs> oh, got to take a breath. So in any case, this is a digital line. This one is called Chrome View. We will produce this in Pakistan. Korea does not do digital, and China does do digital, but now with the tariffs, 25%, uh, no one can afford to go to China and do digital. And I just saw before, earlier today, if you missed it, Donald Trump whacked uh, China with another tariff. I mean, for fabric, it's already done, but other, other products will be tariffs, so should be interesting. Uh, anyway. So I love this. This is my favorite right here. These are just amazing. And I'm going to get you close in because I love it. And all right, so I want to teach you something. And I'll get, well, I'll get to it in a minute. I want to tell you about the selvage on a digital print. So this one comes in three colors, these trees. I think these are awesome. They could go with everything. Um, I fell in love with those. That's kind of my cup of tea. Then we have butterflies. Butterflies always sell great. Really nice. And then a little splotch. But the beauty of the digital is you could do unlimited colors. So that is definitely a big plus. And you could also do smaller run quantities. It's a little bit faster, but not much. And then, I, you know, listen, when I first started in the business, one of the things my dad told me was that everything on black looks amazing and, and sells great. So he was right. Um, you know, he usually is, you know, both of my parents are usually right, which is annoying. Hopefully I'm always right like my parents were. But anyway, um, so this looks sharp on the black. It really pops and it looks amazing. And then check out this awesome stripe. 
let's let's open this up really nice stripe really a lot of fun so there you have it and then last but not least we have the panel so let's check out the panel I had to use the floor getting creative listen when I do these videos I got to do what I got to do just like I tell my retailers when they're doing the video they got to just do what they got to do to make it happen don't get bogged down because it's live you got to just keep going if you trip just get up and, and keep going you know everyone knows we're not perfect and stuff happens and you know what sometimes it's a little bit funny so this is the panel and what I'm showing you is that first off we write the pattern and color number we write what the name of the line is we write our website and then there's no color tab like in the other ones they had to salvage because it's so many colors and really they don't need a color tab because it's really digital and it's really the fabric should look how it looks on the computer screen uh, the way they send it to them so uh, these are probably harder to um, comment on on the strike offs I get I, I really need to speak with the designers and see exactly how they do that all right so that's chrome of you and that is the end of blank quilting so uh, let's move on to studio E all right I know there are a lot of B people out there so this is be a keeper and I wanted to show you just because I was talking to you about the card before for Henry glass we put the delivery on the back for studio E on the front in the corner we put the skew count so there's 11 designs in this group and the delivery is seven because you know I'm doing last month's lines but the the reason why we have that there is so when the rep is writing the order if the customer says oh I want the whole collection the rep could just write okay 11 SKUs full collection ship it in July very easy keep moving keep it going very fast so alright so here's the project so this is a B group and then here we have the stripe the selvage is actually not bad they did the little little beehives, which they also have here on the print. So that was pretty clever. Oh, here's a better one you could see. I'm not gonna go sideways because then Facebook gets all messed up. But here, you see? See these? All right there. So we got your little bees buzzing, and you got it on this creamy color. I, you know what, I gotta tell you, just looking at this fabric, it, you might not be able to tell, but it looks amazing. And I'm not just saying that because it's my fabric. I, it just, you know, I, I do have an opinion too, and I think it looks sharp. It came out really nice and clean. But look at the bees, all you bee people, you guys who are using the honey, and I know there's someone who does like a beeswax thing. Um, we do sell a lot of the bee fabric. Uh, so here is your, uh, I guess these are just, I guess that's kind of a panel, but it, it's just blocks. These will just keep running. So this is your selvage, selvage and selvage over here so this is the fabric runs through the machine that way and then it gets printed so let's do I'll show you the blocks if you want to be happy be yourself I could accept that uh, be the change you want to be in the world I like it be as sweet as honey I like it be a keeper I like that too save our honeybees fair enough I could deal with that and just be you awesome Yes, see that? So Alice Brewer makes homemade bee bars and uses the fabric for the bags. I put them in, it's wonderful. Alice, if you make me bee bars, I will send you bee fabric so you can put the bee bars in. And we could bee bar together. I wanna see what that uh, homemade bee bar is like. So, and then we have, oh, sorry, let me show you the rest of the line. So then we have these bees, and then on this nice green color, and then we have the honeycombs, and then back to the uh, bees whatever they call those sorry all right you know listen crazy thing is when you do fabric you learn a lot about a lot which is a good thing we're always wanting to learn and again I know you guys want to learn about fabric and I want to teach you about fabric so here I am fairyland by studio e nice girl line let's do it here's your project really fun colors there's really something cool I want to show you about this line and we will get to that but so here you have your little your little fairy, uh, fairy land, let's call it. Little homes, and then you have your little fairies. Really cute, oh man, let's see. All right, very nice. And then here, this is the secret. This is the secret sauce right here. So this reminds me of Tinkerbell, but I suggested to the designer that she make this glow in the dark. So you're not gonna see it now, but maybe I should turn off the light and see if it glows in the dark. Why don't we do that? Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna be dark enough. 
Let's see if we could get some glow in the dark action. I would say that's pretty good. You guys seeing that? I'm seeing some glow in the dark. Let's get right up in there. I would say I see it. So if it was pitch black in here, it would be better. But what do you think? It's pretty cool. Definitely cool. Let's see. Let me get the light back on. All right, so you're still talking about the bees. We're already on the fairies. So the bee, the fairies are in the jar. These jars glow, really kind of cool, fun. It has some little butterflies in pink and green, and then you have more of the fairies on the yellow, and then more of the fairies going to the tree houses. Over here we have your fairy stripe. Fun, and let's see what the salvage is. Uh-oh, we might have a winner on the best salvage today. The fairy salvage, I like it. I like it a lot. And then here we have the panel. And this is a 24 inch panel. You guys could tell by now. You guys have the eye. All right, so we are winding this down. Believe it or not, we are on the last one. And I'm gonna show it to you. Where is the card? So let's do that. I'm sorry, I'm showing you the wall, which I've been telling my shops that are doing videos. Make sure to have something to show us at all times so we're not looking at the wall or something really boring because then everybody signs off and then we have no view. All right, so this is Elizabeth Isles. This line is called Our Wood, uh, this is called Woodland Wonders. I don't know, I guess the project she calls Our Woodland Wonders, but check it out. So let's start here because this is awesome. Look at this baby. For all you people, you know, who are into the animals or in the, you know, in Wyoming, Montana, you know, wherever, this is amazing. How cool. Very nice, lovely. And then here we have the box. So look at how real this looks. This is not digital. This is 18 screens. And look, here, you could even see. No special salvage, but they're all counted off. 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 screens, we got them. Listen, if we get the screens, we wanna use them all. The more colors we get, the better the designs look. So look how real these look. Just amazing. Yes, the moose, look at, look at these guys, they're, they're pretty awesome, love this eagle, check that out, really nice. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, it would be a, you know, listen, you probably could make it into a soft book, but that's not we made, what we made here, we, we have a lot of soft books, but that's pretty cool. All right, a rain tree quilting in Juno. I'm hope, hoping to visit you guys soon. All right, so let's see the rest of the line, so then you have this kind of all over in the forest. Really nice. A lot of coordinates, little blenders, great blenders. You know, listen, this could go with this line. This could go with any line. These are just great coordinates. Yes, horticulture, nature. Wow, I love this too. Wildlife. Awesome. All right, so that's the line. So let's just do a quick once over just to let you look at everything, what you saw. Studio E. Elizabeth Isles, Woodland Wonders. This is that Fairyland by Studio E. The glow in the dark, fairies in the jar. We got the bee line. I'm gonna be getting bars of bee something and I'll give you the bee fabric, but this is a great line too. And then we have the blank quilting. We have the Chroma View Digital. Chroma View Digital, Chroma View Digital. Love these. Then we have Dog Gone Fun by Blank Quilting. Uh, Annie Trow, who I don't see here. Yeah, I kind of have a good job. It's kind of fun. You know what though? Of all the things I do, selling I love the best. Selling is extremely rewarding. And I used to sell a lot more when I was younger, when I started younger, yeah, I guess it is younger. And there's your white on white. And then here's the Henry Glass. So we have, uh, what was this one called, sorry. Winter Whimsy, two-ply flannel by Shelley Kamiski, great illustrator. And then we have this uh, line by Marcello, Winter Cottage, great, great winter scenic. Nice variety we have here. And then you have your cars, little boy print or girl print, nice 36 inch panel. And then we have the Dino Mates. So this reminds me of Dino My. All right, so let me sit down, give you some parting words of wisdom or something. Oh, so this is the um, classroom at Gotham. And listen, if you're in New York, you gotta check out the shop. Uh, Andrea and Yvette are good friends. They're amazing people. They let me use their space um, whenever I 
they need it, which is really nice of them and kind. Uh, they're really good people. But listen, let's be realistic. Everyone in our industry, for the most part, is really nice. Uh, in my previous life, I was in stocks in law school. Sorry for the bouncing. I'm trying to put my tripod down so I can stop holding and my back start, stops hurting. All right. Woo! All right, we did it. We, we totally did it. So it's it's August 1st. I'm Scott Borchinoff. Uh, if you're watching this now and seeing me now, I am live. But if you're watching this later, I am not live. So your comments uh, will be here, but I will not be responding. And what else can I tell you? So again, this month, please hang out on my page all day long. It's going to be like a better than a Netflix series. We're going to show you tons and tons of quilt shops around the world. Shop owners are going to give you tours. Engage with them. Tell them you like it. Like them. The contest, the winner will be the one with the most views. Last year we did it based on the most likes. This year it'll be the most views. So enjoy those videos. Please participate. You know, listen, we need to support each other. Um, and again, I've done a lot of blog posts about this, but we need you to buy fabric from the stores. Go, you know, don't go in and use the shops as a, 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 you know, as a showroom and take pictures and go home and buy it somewhere else. You know, if you're, if, if you want that shop to survive, you need to support them. If they're not there, you're not going to even have that opportunity. So by doing that, you're really cheating them and you're cheating yourself and you're hurting them and maybe you'll lose that shop altogether. And think about how you're going to feel if that shop is gone. We do not want to lose any more quilt shops. We want them to flourish, and we want it to be a place that you enjoy going to, because it is a very special place. It's not like you know going to a hardware store. It's not like people are hanging out in the hardware store like, hey, let me put this piece of wood back together. You know, quilt shops, people are making things. They're excited. They're excited to talk about it. They're buying fabric. They're coming up with ideas. They're learning new things. They're teaching people ideas and different things to do um, with the fabric and, and techniques and tricks. There are tons of tricks, you guys. You know, I'm not even a beginner, but I'm a very beginner. But I could always learn more, and you could always learn more, and it's that hunger to learn more that will keep us going and help our industry thrive. And the help and the the the, the um, oh God, the, the the interest in making and creating beautiful things and keeping your mind busy and healthy, you know, and stimulated. Or um, you know, arts and hobbies are great. Great, great for you. All right, so I'm going to shut up. And um, so we got the contest for the whole month of August. So one last thing, and then I'll, I'll piece you guys out. Uh, the month of August, watch the videos. At the end of the month, there'll be a contest winner. And then we will arrange some sort of event where I will go to their shop, and we'll have a charitable event and other things. So the other thing I want to tell you, and this is more for you guys who are the consumers. So the... Um, the next contest I have, it's called Scott Sent Me. These are the second years of both of these contests, and they follow one after the other. One is for shop owners, who are my customers, and one are for consumers, who are my customers' customers. So for you guys, September, October, November, I'm challenging you to visit as many shops as you can. Not only are you going to see the videos on my page, but you're going to get out, and you're going to go in your car, grab your friends, grab your family, grab some food, and go for a ride, and you're gonna go visit as many shops as possible. Last year, the winner uh, visited uh, like 60 shops in three months, which is pretty awesome, and it's just great for our industry. It's about the industry, people. You love sewing, we're all in this together. No different than sports fans or anything like that. We need you, we need your help, we need you to support the industry, we need you to you know, buy fabric and make stuff, and talk about fabric, and you know, support people working with fabric. So. September, October, November, you're going to have a challenge, and it's going to be to see how many shops you can visit in a three-month time span. And I bet someone could reach 70 this year if you're really motivated. But with that, I just want to say no like motorcycle racing at 100 miles per hour and anything crazy like that. I, I don't want anyone getting hurt. I mean, the prizes are good. Yeah, I'm going to give away some bolts of fabric and things like that, but not worth your life driving like a psycho uh, in your motorcycle uh, through the highway. So that's it. I hope you guys can play along. Uh, I'm going to be you know, around. I'll be watching the videos. I'm going to be going to Alaska later this month. I'm hoping that I will be able to do some live video from Alaska and show you some shops in Alaska. I mean, how awesome is that? You're going to be home. I'm going to be in Alaska. I'm going to show you a quilt shop in Alaska. Maybe you'll call them and be like, hey, I love that kit that you have. So all right, I'm going to shut up. Enough, Scott. 
Peace out, guys. Love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for buying our fabric. Thank you for supporting my company, our industry, my family. I appreciate it. Peace.